Welcome to the Viner Four Gates post game show here at UMBC. It's the first time we've been here for a basketball game. I'm Wayne Viner, Bruce Posner, Todd Carton, and True Grit is ooh, here. Ooh. What do you think of your new house? That good, huh? Todd, you know what he's saying? Um, it's the biggest thing since sliced bread, I think. 4,666 seats here. UMBC put their 11-0 home winning streak on the line. How'd it go tonight? Uh, not, not, not too so hot. Good. Bruce, what you make of the game? Uh, I thought that we saw a very, very good Vermont team. Yep. 25 and 35 were excellent. Excellent. And UMBC, yep. UMBC had no answer for right. them. Urquhart and Hanson both were good. 6-8 power forward center types. They knew what to do with the ball in the post. Todd, what'd you see? Yeah, I, I saw guys that operated well in the low post yep. and even could stretch the floor a little bit, uh, step out and make a three. And UMBC just couldn't get the ball in the hoop. No, um, I would say that you'd say they had a rough game at some point, wouldn't you? Yeah. Uh. Yeah, things right. are good. Peace to us. He's got to go. I believe the retriever is. A you got to go. Yeah, he does. All right. All right. Thanks. thanks, Drew Grit, we for being on the show. It, Drew Grit. Thank you, man. Sorry. <laughs> um, we'll continue here. Listen, UMBC gave the Terps a hell of a fight. I, I think they were just nervous today. Yeah. By the way, when, that's off to this arena, the event center. Yeah. Todd told me it was going to be great. And we were in the upper upper deck, and the seats are great there. Yep. And uh, it's super. And right. they have the great retriever room. You can look out on the lacrosse field. Right across is right over the lacrosse right. field. So we'll bring Mason to talk about what he thinks of the stadium. But they took the score down, and, and I would have too. But it was 81-53. The Vermont Catamounts over the UMBC's retrievers. You know that Vermont has a higher RPI than Maryland does. It doesn't surprise me. I mean, they just don't play the schedule, but their bigs are good. They're 18, or maybe they're 19 and three now. Right, their bigs are good, and yeah. the guy I love for UMBC is a little guard, Mora. Yeah. He played, I think he played a little bit better against Maryland. He did. But he was pretty good tonight. He, right. shot a, he shot a little bit better against Maryland. Right, and number 10, Lyles had a nice game. They did. So uh, tomorrow you will see all of us in College Park. But for right now, we're going to take a break. We'd like to thank Meyer Consulting Engineer for sponsoring today's shoot. We'll be back in a moment here at UMBC. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. Todd, tell us about UMPC, how they came about this arena, $85 million. $85 million. It's been a little over two years under construction. Mason you, and you, Bruce, you've walked around a little bit. You can see they still need to put some finishing oh, touches on done. it. Oh, it's not done. It's not done. And um, but but as I as I told you on the radio show this morning, it's a little bit like a mini coal. They have the academic center back here. They have upgraded locker facilities, um, medical treatment facilities. Everything is going to be contained in this building, and it replaces a, a building that was built in 1973 put the lights out on us here there yeah. man yeah. a little bit different than at Xfinity Center when they show the time on the score yeah. where they just turn the lights off your take on the place Mason well I got a chance to sit in the upper deck for the second half really good view angles not that far from the court but the retriever club up there very impressive the concourse is a little bit tight when it's this full but that's like any other stadium yeah all right any other Sorry. comments no, it's. Uh, I'm looking forward to watching them play a little bit more. Coming tomorrow in a Wisconsin game? Uh, probably not. But okay, I, Super Bowl I, Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. Mason, me, and Wayne will be there. Todd, thanks for hosting thanks. us here. Thank Always you. a pleasure. Send you NBC our re regards. Very happy. Yeah, it was very nice today. Over. Thanks, Todd. I sure right. will. All right. Terp Talk is brought to you by Viner Four Gates Consulting. Call Viner Four Gates for all of your IT needs. In the D.C. Baltimore area, you could reach us at 301-251-2900 
or on the web at www.vinerforgates.com. Back here at UMBC, we have Gary Stein joining us. We've been on your show. Thanks for coming on ours today. Play by play. Absolutely. Play by play, Gary. Absolutely, Where was guys. the game shown today? On three? or It was on, it was on ESPN3. You had a, quite a little co-host there. John Feinstein, I, you know, I'm, I'm confident when I say this. He's one of a kind. Yes. There's no doubt about it. Yes. Did you talk to them all about the Masters? We didn't get into that today. He's we usually do. He's a golf. He's a golf freak. I mean, he really is. Hey, so, he, I think he does two uh, Series XM shows about golf. Right. So, well, so he also does a Masters. Oh, so. right. Well, Gary, what's your impression of the new building? I tell you, I I really love it. You know, I wasn't um, really thrilled about the one side that didn't have any stands right. with the big wall, but. You know, I love the scoreboard. I think they are going to put some rows like a, like on risers here for the stands. But I just think it's a great day for UNBC. There's nothing wrong with the rack necessarily. Mm -hmm. But when you come into a building like this and you play in front Gary, of this Gary. kind of crowd, it's awesome. It, this, the rack is no, it's no comparison. So, well, you yeah. were talking about recruiting before we came Look on. Look what it means to recruiting. Ever since Towson's got their new arena. It's huge. The program has gone off the chart. And what happens, first of all, when you have transfers and they're looking for someone maybe they didn't make it at the big d1 schools and they come into a place like this you got them right There's no doubt and, and also when recruits come in you got them this place is really special right. and it's not done yet the, it, right it's not done yet and this this brings them up that level you know that notch right. and it elevates them to the major league so yeah kudos to them for finally getting it done what's on press box tomorrow morning Tomorrow morning? Oh, that's a good question. We taped the show on Thursday night. Is your memory that bad? I, I can't. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, I know. I know. Charlie Toomey, lacrosse right. coach at Loyola. Great right. guy. Great. Super. Paul Mittermeyer, who was on the broadcast today. I saw. He's the communications guy at uh, Ed Block, so he talked about what's going on there. And we had a great piece about Howard Community College lacrosse, who played for the NCAA uh, JC Championship last year, and they have a strong team this year. All right, I've got the key question. Now, Wayne was on about two months ago. Yeah. I was on last week. Correct. Who got better ratings? <laughs> I'm going to have to diplomatically say it was a tie. A dead tie? A dead, it was dead even. It hey, did great. We'll, we'll have to do it again. Yeah. It'll be a playoff game. Gary, thank you for joining us you got on it. the Viner Four Gates Post Game Show here at UMBC. We will see you from Xfinity Center in College Park tomorrow, Bruce. Sign off, drive safely. A must win game again for Maryland against Wisconsin. Everybody's written the season off. There's a little window left, a oh. very little window. Very it's closing fast. It's closing fast. Right. And they got four home games, got to win them all, sneak one or two on the road. It would be fantastic. It would. The final score here from UMBC, the Catamounts, 81, the Retrievers, 53. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Thanks, pal.